up guys, it's Reese here, part of the Raging Chimpanzees, and I apologise for the lack of streams, basically I have found out that the str me streaming has caused the hit detection issues, um, and me, and it's increasing my lag, I've no idea why it's doing it, it hasn't done it for any other COD or any other game as far as I'm aware, um, but yeah, that means I can't really stream, I might stream later, I might try and get it to work, but this video is just detailing a gun that I believe is overpowered, um, I don't know, not many people have used it, but it, it's the FHR-40, it's the second submachine gun that you unlock in the Infinite Warfare beta. And, um, for, in terms of fire rate, the fire rate is sort of between the VMP and the vest, but it's a very high fire rate. I think it's probably the same as the VMP. Uh, it's about 900 rounds per minute. I haven't actually calculated it yet. I will do it at some point, don't worry. <coughs> um, but, there's a certain variant that it has um, the increased ability which is reduced recoil so it, it's the counterweight so it has slightly reduced recoil if you stack it with full grip this gun literally has no recoil you'll see me going around now i am actually like i'm i mean it's not the best game plan in the world i'll give you that because you know i'm still new to the game but you know i was doing like pretty flipping good because honestly this gun is just so easy to use it it's such a high fire rate gun it literally has no recoil this is what i don't get and it's just unrealistic, I think, and it just makes it overpowered and really easy to use. The only problem with it is the ammo count, in all fairness. Like, that is literally the only problem with it. That's, uh, I'm getting that a lot as well. Like, a lot of the guns have, like, really bad ammo problems. I don't know why. So, I'm going to I'm just I'm gonna have to, like... Well, I can't do anything about it, obviously, but... Uh, but uh, I, a lot of the guns have ammo problems. This one isn't as bad, even though it's got a high fire rate. It's got 80 reserve ammo, but that's not really a lot. You have to run Scavenger and that, or whatever, or one of the payloads, I think, or the crates to get um, uh, ammo back. But yeah, I'm just saying, this gun, if you put counterweight on it and you stack it with four, if you put a counterweight variant on it, you stack it with four grid. The counterweight variant I unlocked in uh, Supply Drop, but you can get it with Salvage. It's only 200 Salvage. Um, actually, wait, no, it's not. you can't craft variant for that. Yeah, so you have to get it for a Supply Drop. Um, I got it for a rare one. Um, but yeah, basically, honestly, it, it's just... It's so easy to use and it's so overpowered. Like literally, there's no recoil on it. I, I'll try and like keep the gameplay going so you see like a long range, longer range kill. I don't know if there was one, but yeah, it's like oh, it's just yeah. Use this gun whilst you can because I, I have a feeling the nerf hammer is going to be put on this gun. Um, so yeah, it's just my personal opinion, on, on, obviously. But yeah, I think the FHR is overpowered. So yeah, that pretty much wraps it up. I don't know if I'm going to get a long range kill, but yeah. Uh, thanks for watching. The next video I'm going to do is probably going to be on the secret afterburner perk that is actually in the game. Um, there is a secret afterburner perk, so I will be talking to you about that and we'll be telling you how you can get that. Yeah, alright, that pretty much wraps it up, guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. I'll be double uploading today, guys. Peace out.